Please welcome to the stage, Johnny Walker. Come on! And Johnny Walker! Fuck me, it's nice to see you. 7.2 billion people out of lockdown, and I feel like it was a pandemic we should have never been part of. Special fried rice, chicken chow mein, sweet and sour pork Hong Kong star? Are you telling me China has some of the tastiest food in the world? And this son of a bitch from Wuhan ate a bat? Do you, do you know who I feel sorry for? The poor waitress trying to steer him away from that deadly dish. She's like, excuse me, excuse me, sir. We have the dark pancake. We have the lemon chicken. We have the spring roll. Psycho just cuts her off. I don't think you heard me. I want to nibble on a couple of bat wings. I'm the Batman. I thought the Batman was Bruce Wayne, not Jimmy Chung from Wuhan. Single-handedly wipes off 365 days of the calendar year for every human on the planet. I want to know why. Because the Indians wouldn't do it, right? The Indians got some tasty food too. They got the lambuna. They got the chicken tikka, right? Jamaicans wouldn't do it. They got the jerk chicken, the mac and cheese. You know the only suckers that I think that would eat the bat soup? Us. Because what we got? Fish and chips, pie and mash. Pie and mash has to be one of my favorite conversations to have with my cockneys though, right? Every time I go to work with them, it's always the same. Hey, John, pass me the screwdriver out of Samantha, son. Pass me, Samantha's got what? Pass me the screwdriver out of Samantha Fox, the box, you nutter. Now, where's your favorite pie and mash shop? Is it Maggie's or Armit's in Peckham? I'm like, uh, Jim, this might be a surprise to you, but do I look like I eat fucking pie and mash to you? Because we're a generation of chicken eaters now. Not just black people, white people too. I see you in Morley's, Nando's, favorite chicken, KFC, jerk chicken, kung fu fucking chicken. We're saturated with chicken. But even if they opened up a chicken shop that slightly resembled a bat, I would like to think we wouldn't eat it. Imagine this, they open up wet market chickens in Croydon, right? You walk into that chicken shop, you spot the chicken from afar. It's jet black with red eyes like it's forged in the pits of hell. You get a little bit closer, you see all the chickens just bumping into each other and shit. They're like, hey bro, what's up with your chickens? He's like, don't worry, don't worry. All the chickens are blind. What the fuck? Well, every time the chicken takes a nap, a sleep, a little night night, he just wanders into the chicken coop, just hangs from his fucking feet. We won't fucking eat. But you know what, I'm into statistics, right? During lockdown, I heard 75% of all restaurants may never open again. 80% of clubs are locked down forever. But I had a worrying statistic on the way here. They said 69, 69% of all knife crime is committed by black males aged 15 to 36. And I'd just like to say, Norman, if I see that fucking card go up, that statistic might just creep up to 70%. That's all I'm fucking saying, man. That's all I'm fucking saying, man. <laughs> no, but seriously, seriously. Like, I ain't gonna fucking lie to you. Like, during this fucking pandemic, man, they say, like, I'm into statistics. They say one in five people have got a Coke problem. Hands up, you ever tried Coke before? You lying mother... It's fucking all of you, right? You've definitely done the marching powder, sir. This, this motherfucker's on it now. Everyone's laughing normally. He's like, ha, ha, ha. That's funny, Johnny. I see. But literally, I was locked down with my best friend Giles during lockdown, right? He's a posh kid from the sea. The only thing we got in common is fucking Game of Thrones, right? And with Game of Thrones, I'm rushing back and forward to the toilet to do some coke, right? And I say, Giles, tell me what the fuck I miss. Because with Game of Thrones, 10 different families, 10 different kingdoms, dragons, dwarf, Khaleesi got her tits out. Guys, that's the only fucking reason you watch that. Season three, episode two, Khaleesi got her tits out. Right? So, I say, hey, Giles, tell me what I miss. He'll be like, don't worry, Jonathan, I'll tell you verbatim. Uh, you t uh, okay. So I run to the toilet and my dealer must be into fucking origami because he's wrapped in my coke in a little lorry paper shaped like an envelope, <laughs> right? And I open it out, it spills everywhere. So I take my big grubby finger, shove about half a gram on my nose, come back. Hey, Giles, what did I miss? He's like, well, uh, you know, uh, uh, Brie of Tarth is talking to Stanis Braffin. She said, oh, reason not the need, I basically beggars are in poison things superfluous. Stanis Braffin says back to Brie of Tarth, allow not more than nature needs. Man's life is as cheap as beast. Like, Shut the fuck up, Giles! Just give me the fucking gist, man. Give me the gist. 
Or the second reason you guys might be getting up to go to the toilet, I might get a little stabby on you. You got the STD shit, right? Sexually transmitted disease, right? Hands up, you ever had a sexually transmitted disease before? You lying mo- What, just one guy at the back, Norman? You motherfucker. Peace.